All right, guys, decided to do a little project today. Got about 10, maybe 20 hours on this motor after my December maintenance uh, on this motor. And I wanted to go ahead and change out the head, water jacket cover anodes that are underneath the cover. These are the two anodes. I haven't changed them out. I do have them. I've already ordered them and they're here on the bench. I also ordered the gasket that goes here and the gasket that goes here. So the small little gasket here and a bigger gasket here. And it doesn't look too bad inside the water, inside this cavities here. I mean, it's a little, a little ugly, but not super bad. Um, but the big thing that surprised me, and it always does, is, uh, and, I'll, and I'll make sure that I do this as part of my annual maintenance moving forward, is make sure these bolts are not corroded up. I had one here that just about didn't come out. As you can see, there's some stuff built up in there. Um, and I did have one here on the rectifier that did break off on the, the jacket cover itself. So I'll show you that in a second. But that's another thing to double check. You know, when you're doing these annual maintenance, if you're taking the bolts on and off at least once a year, then, you know, and you put some, some grease or something in there to keep it nice and uh, lubricated, no big deal. But if you don't and it goes multiple years without changing them, then you're going to end up with a problem. So, so here's the cover. And again, I have already got this gasket on my bench and I'll be cleaning this, this head and uh, water jacket cover as well as the um, water passages over there on the motor, cleaning those up. But here's where it broke off, the bolt broke off on the rectifier. So plan A, I'm gonna try to pull that bolt out. Plan B, I can order a new water jacket. Um, and these are, this new water, this water jacket cover is 125 bucks cheaper than um maybe maybe potentially cheaper than having somebody do it for me don't know um but we'll see if i can get this out might be able to get it out if i can't i can order a new cover which is not always a bad idea either so uh that's a couple different options so yeah that's uh, again if you if you're doing this part of your regular maintenance then that probably would have been a, been a problem but since i hadn't changed this out uh, since I've had this this boat for a few years and I haven't changed these out and I decided to go ahead and do that uh, That's the issue. I'm hoping I'm gonna be able to get these screws out without any corrosion issues and <laughs> Fingers crossed. All right, so that's how you get into it. it really wasn't that big of a deal. The standoffs do um, Have to disconnect from the, the jacket cover. There's a little couple little tabs off to the side here right here and here um, that these standoffs plug into. You gotta disconnect those, take out all, I don't know, there's 10 or 12 screws there and disconnect this oxygen sensor here and uh, make sure you don't mess up the oxygen sensor. This is a $300 part, $325 part and it just pulls through this hole. So when you pull it off, it just goes right through that hole. Right there like that. So when you pull that off, just be careful with it. So you'll have to disconnect this connector up here and uh, disconnect it from that the little metal tab there. Uh, so it, again, it wasn't that big of a deal. You know, I took my time. I tried to make sure that I didn't break anything off, but some things are unavoidable. That's it. That's uh, that's how you get into it. So not too big of a deal. All right. So got the old head water jacket cover here. Got my anodes off. Um, and as I said, I was going to try to drill this out or potentially try to get this out without drilling it out. Um, I was unable to do that. I did, you know, cut a slot in it and try to get it out with a couple different tools an impact driver and a very variety of other things to try to get that out. But I was unable to do that. So as you see, I've already ordered a uh, cover here, a new cover, and, uh, this will obviously solve that problem. So we don't need this anymore. Set that aside. Um, but I did order also the gaskets. That's the part number for that gasket, for the cover, the, the big cover here. And also the um, rectifier cover, there's a gasket for that as well. I did order 12 of these. Um, it, it comes with 12, but it, and when you order the part, it comes with 12, the count of, of 12. And that's the part number for these um, little bolts here. It goes on the head cover. These four here also go here on the rectifier cover. Um, and then of course the anodes, that's the part number for that. And uh, the other part of this project is replacing the starter. So I've got the starter uh, little gasket there. It goes to the bottom of the starter. 
So that's all the parts, and uh, we're going to get started here on this, putting this stuff back together on the boat. And um, hopefully you've got all those part numbers down. You can see what those are. Oh, and then, of course, the head cover part number. All right, let's get started on the rest of this project. We're going to go ahead and put this um, head cover, um, water jacket cover back on. I've already disconnected the O2 sensor and the rectifier again. Make sure that that's all disconnected and out of the way. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put this cover on, but first we've got to put our anodes in. And uh, we will probably end up using a little bit of this um, gasket maker material here. And uh, just to make sure, because there again, there's some pitting here that we want to make sure that that doesn't leak at all. Uh, we will be obviously doing the a water test on this just to make sure it's all good. But uh, just to uh, eliminate any extra work, we're going to go ahead and be, go on the safe side, put a little bit of that um, gasket maker on. Just a real, real, real thin coat like we've done in other videos. Uh, just to make sure there's no leakage. Um, and then of course the gasket, I've already put that um, gasket here um, and then put the uh, gasket here on the rectifier cover as well. And put it, put some, again, this is these gaskets. I either put a little bit of oil from, from the dipstick here or just some of this uh, extreme grease that I use for pretty much everything that I wanna make sure it doesn't corrode or anything like that. Also greased up my bolts. Um, so, and all the bolts in here as well. So everything's already prepped and ready to go. All right, guys, we got everything buttoned back up. Got the cover back on. Uh, I ended up using some of this um, gasket making material for not only the, the cover here, but also the uh, rectifier cover as well. Uh, you can see a little bit. Again, I just use a real small amount. It's a thin coat. And uh, as well as on the rectifier here. Small, small thin coat. Uh, but everything's reconnected. Um, made sure the, of course, the, of course, the bolts are are greased down and, and tightened down. Uh, O2 sensors connected back up. Rectifiers connected back up, of course. Next thing we're going to do is just do a preliminary test, uh, pressure test, water pressure test on this gasket on the head um, cover here, so we can. Um, see if it has any leaks or anything. So I've got my bucket down here to capture some water so it doesn't splash everywhere. Got the hose hooked up here from the house. Got about 50 to 60 pounds of pressure that will do some preliminary testing just to see what happens if anything happens. Hopefully nothing happens. So everything, I've already done a little bit of work on it or did a little bit of testing already and it, it looks good no water down here so nothing's leaking nothing's leaking here at the bottom that's a good test so after we run this for a few minutes what we'll do is we'll connect up the earmuffs start the motor and uh, get this thing heated up a little bit and see if anything leaks um, with the motor running uh -huh. 